Today we find ourselves in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we are checking out Raleigh Custom Homes' beautiful Sky Vista model. Now this is one of those homes that's like drop dead gorgeous, like as soon as you pull up to it, you immediately fall in love, you wanna break out your camera and post it all over Pinterest and Instagram. It's one of those type of homes. As far as inside, you will find five bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, a three car garage, and all of that sits inside of approximately 5,514 square feet. Getting back to the outside, you have beautiful brickwork going all the way around the front of the home as well as some very dramatic gables which have some really cool sharp peaks I like them as opposed to the old broad looking gables I just think it gives it a little bit different look and I'm a big fan of it on the front you'll also find tons of windows especially off of the office area which seems to have floor to ceiling windows which looks really cool and i also love the contrast between the white brick as well as all of the black trim and you'll also find a little bit of black lp siding up on the front of the home too which gives the home just a little bit of extra texture that breaks up that brick Moving around to the back of the home, you'll find a great big covered patio. It has a built-in grill, a fireplace, and a feature that we've never seen before, which is a water feature sitting right next to the fireplace. So I thought that was pretty neat. And then it also has these remote screens that you can raise and lower, just one of those extra touches to help keep the bugs away and allow you to open up these great big doors here in the living room so you can get that nice fresh summer air. As far as the price of this home currently, it comes in at approximately $2,475,000. Of course, that price may or may not be the price that you pay if you decided to make this home yours. However, before we get into the home though, if you would like any more information on this model, you can find that at timothyplivingston.com where you can search this home as well as all the homes we've toured across the country and get pricing information and find state availability. You can also filter based off of the number of bedrooms square footage, and so much more to find that perfect home, like the Hacienda by HiFab Homes, and the sponsor of today's video. HiFab is a Texas-based company that builds single-family modular homes comprised of the best design, logistics, engineering, and production teams in their fields, with the goal of producing high-design homes faster and more affordably than traditional on-site construction. To achieve that, HiFab has partnered with the award-winning architects at Lake Flato to create the Hacienda. The Hacienda is HiFab's gorgeous flagship design that will initially be available in two sizes. The studio, which features two bedrooms and two bathrooms, and the standard, which features three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Both the studio and the standard have three different layouts you can choose from and offer the ability for you to customize things like tile, paint colors, and other finishes. When it comes to the price, the studios will start at $249,000, while the standards start at $375,000. These prices include design, assembly, and on-site delivery and setup. The part I find most fascinating, though, is being able to monitor the progress of the homes online as it's being manufactured start to finish. If you want to learn more about HiFab, you can find the link to their website in the description, along with their Facebook and Instagram. Thank you HiFab so much for sponsoring this video and with that let's get into this home and see what all we can find. All right what do we have here? So this is the view that you get when you do first walk in this home. You got this great big two-story foyer right here. Huge light fixture and then as I turn you around of course you have these great big windows going up the stairway and then over the top of this absolutely gorgeous door. And I love the floors. So really excited about this. These doors are actually really hefty too. It's almost like a, uh, they're definitely like steel, but almost like wrought iron, like with the handles and everything too. I mean, they're stout. So right off of that, we will go ahead and start getting into some of the good stuff. And that begins with this Great big office right here. All of the windows. I mean, they're really tall too. I could definitely picture this. I would want it, this is in a neighborhood, but uh, man, I could see this looking out into, I'm big on the mountains, you know what I mean? I love some mountains. If I could, if I could live anywhere, um, it would definitely be the mountains. And that leads me to a couple 
interesting things that we got going on this year. We are actually getting ready to sell our house. We'll be doing it while we're on the road. Uh, we're leaving February 7th and we are heading across the country, stopping in different states for the next year. And we're gonna be touring homes throughout those states and some of the surrounding states. So pretty excited about that. Uh, I hope you guys are gonna join us and come along for that journey as we check out some homes. So. If, if you have some home builders in your state, drop them in the comments, you know what I mean? So we can reach out to them and then show those off to everybody else. Now, with all that going on, this is the great room, which leads into, of course, the dining room and the kitchen area. You got this great big wall of windows, which are actually doors as well, and they open up to lead out onto that covered patio, which is pretty cool if you ask me. I would love to have uh, just that feeling of indoor outdoor living, I guess, with the breeze hitting you. You do have a nice fireplace right here too, a gas fireplace with a big old stone surround, which is pretty neat. And in the rest of the great room. Now, just off of the foyer, before we go any further, and I get too far ahead of myself, uh, you do have a powder room back here and there is a coat closet leading into the powder room and what could this be there's a door within the closet interesting where does it go another closet <laughs> i saw this earlier actually uh and i shut the door so i could reveal it to you but I feel like this would just be like another extension of the coat room, especially if you had like big parties or something, or just storage in general. As people come in, you pretend like you're hanging it up, but your coats are there, so you just go through the next room and throw them on that little table. Something like that. Anyway, past that, you do come to your powder room. You got a great big light fixture in here too. And then this is actually one of the bigger powder rooms. A lot of space in here. You've got some nice gold accents on your vanity. Nice soft closed drawers and then a little space for some towels. All right, carrying on. So past the great room, you do have your dining room and that is a funky light fixture right there pretty neat but plenty of space and then next to that you got a little dry bar over here a little buffet got some accent lights we'll check out some of the actual cabinets so again they kept with the black and white theme that's on the outside of the home, which is super nice. And then into the kitchen. Now, I was expecting, honestly, a little bit bigger kitchen, but uh, I actually like this layout too. I think a lot of you will as well. Um, one, you've got this great big island. A little outlet over here. Some nice light fixtures over the top of it. And then uh, plenty of storage on this side. You got all these pot and pan drawers. And then back behind us, you've got your gas range. And then this just very nicely, like it just blends in, but with the range hood. And I don't know if these, are these actual cabinets? No, but they look just like it. You know what I mean? And then checking out some of the uppers. You're gonna need a ladder for that one up there. That one's pretty tall, but I think the one thing that everybody is going to like is the fact that your sink is looking out these great big windows into the backyard, which is super cool. And these windows, the two on the ends are crank out. And then next to that, you do have a dishwasher. Now, the one thing I didn't know what these were. Ooh, little outlets right there. That's cool. But I almost thought that they were soap dispensers being so close to uh, the sink. So the outlet thing, that's pretty neat. 
All right, now on the opposite side, I guess I should have hit this when we were over by the buffet area, but you've got this great big refrigerator right here. And I've got a little bit of a surprise for you. So I'm only opening this because it's gigantic and I want to see what it looks like. Um, but there is a surprise in the pantry and we will get to that right now. Um, I just walked in there a second ago and <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I saw you've got a, another dishwasher in here and a sink as well as a microwave and then plenty of counter space, obviously. But when you turn the corner, you've got a whole nother refrigerator in the pantry. So I know a lot of you are uh, always looking for space for like a extra freezer, like a deep freezer. Um, so maybe this would be a cool spot to have one uh, or just have the refrigerator, which seems to have a great big freezer at the bottom anyway. But plenty of shelves in here too. I like how they kind of changed up the color a little bit, like a navy blue. So that's nice. And then coming through here, when I first came into this home, I know a lot of you uh, love seeing the garages. So one of the first things I had to do was go and check on the garage doors, um, which I'm about to open for you. So don't worry about it, but you do have a, Nice little drop zone right here with some cubbies and a bench. And then on the opposite side, you've got like a little media center. So you can put some computers over here or maybe this is where you pay your bills if you're not working in the main office. And then this door would be like storage back here, I guess. So not a lot happening. It's pretty, pretty small. But... So we'll go ahead and, now there's actually both of these doors lead into two separate sections of the garage. Hopefully it's not too echoey in here, but plenty of space, some nice windows. And then this is the two car. The other one is just a single garage stall. Got some access for some storage, and then you have your electrical panels out here as well. All right, now I did see one thing on the island I kind of wanted to point out, uh, just because I feel like everybody would like to know. You do have a little spice rack right here at the end. So back this way, you do have another bedroom. Uh, which is cool. It's almost like a secondary master suite. But before you get there, you do have a nice closet in here. And this room is big and gorgeous and the way the sun hits it. Now it's pretty much a reflection of the master bedroom as far as how it sits on the back side of the home. But you got these exposed beams, great big light fixture. Just really nice. And then into the closet, it's also got a nice size closet. Now I think the one in the master bedroom is a little bit bigger, but it does have some cool built-ins in here. And then the one thing I don't think I've ever seen in any home is you have the wooden grates for your air ducts as opposed to like the metal ones. Maybe, maybe they've been in some homes that we've toured and I just haven't noticed, but. And then you have the full, this will be the first bathroom. So you got your single vanity right here, your toilet, and then this has got a really nice shower too. So you've got tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling. You got a nice bench in the back. And then you've got a removable shower head like a little wand and then like a rainfall shower head up above that and then a tile shower tray as well. All right, so still a whole bunch more to see. This one is definitely shaping up to 
to be one of the favorite tours of mine so far. So uh, we'll hop outside real quick. This one, <laughs> I've been excited about this too. So you've got the built-in grill over here, which I like how it kind of matches the um, burner knobs in the kitchen, which is cool. And then over here, you've got more eating space. You've got a gas fireplace and you've got this cool little water feature. Uh, I know we did a poll a long time ago uh, asking what everybody would like, you know, if you would like water feature, if you'd like a fireplace. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, and this, maybe it's not built in, maybe that's more of a de decoration. So, but I still, still think it's kind of cool. Might have gotten a little bit ahead of myself on that one. But you got these great big screens right here too. Uh, I wish I knew had a remote, but they just, you hit the remote, they go up. Uh, we toured one, one of the Diani homes had uh, some of those. And I thought it was pretty cool. Let me go check, can we open this up? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, again, so you have an outdoor bathroom as well. This is an absolute surprise. So really nice to see this. You've got the toilet in here, great big vanity. I figured this was just going to be like some storage. <laughs> anyway, uh, these tours, they get a little out of hand. They get all over the place sometimes. All right. Now the last thing to see downstairs before we head upstairs is the master suite. which is almost the same as the other one we just came out of in terms of size. Honestly though, I like the beams in the other one. I wish they would have had them in here too. But other than like the windows are pretty much the same, it's just flip-flopped. Um, again, you got that nice warmth from the, from the big windows, but the bathroom is tremendously larger. So great big bathroom. You've got a standalone soaking tub over here. Ooh, it's got a removable wand too. Great big window up above it. In the corner, there is the water closet. And then you've got another full walk-in shower. This one actually has a rainfall shower head way up there and a bench. And the stone, ooh, I, I love some stone shower trays. They just feel so good on your feet, you know what I mean? And then back behind us, double vanity, got a little makeup vanity space. And then some nice built-ins on either end. And then into the closet. Chandeliers everywhere. Every room gets a chandelier. <laughs> so in some nice built-ins. I like the built-in mirror, that's nice. And then all the way through the master closet, you have the laundry room. Now this is the first floor laundry room. There's actually a laundry room on the second floor as well, which is super cool. You've got washer dryer hookups and then just plenty of counter space in here. Nice undermount sink. So very nice. Now we'll go ahead and head upstairs and again, <laughs> Almost like the, the over the garage part, they finished off um, and they finished it off really cool. Almost like a movie theater room and then back through that where like the dormer is almost. I guess it's a dormer. Um, they turned into like a cool little game room. But you do have a little loft area. You turn this into a nice little sitting space up at the top of the stairs. And then that looks down into your foyer. Now in terms of carpet, only the upstairs bedrooms and like that little bonus room have carpet, but it's nice because it's not so echoey. <laughs> I like this one because you got this usable dormer right here. And then plenty of windows. I think 
Only the one on the side of the house cranks out though. And then back here, you've got two more bedrooms. And then you've got, is this attached to, no, it does not. So it has its own little ensuite. Nice tile surrounding here too, another nice bench. And you've got the toilet and a single vanity. And then all the way at the back, it has its own closet. And then the second bedroom, which we're about to get into, is pretty much the same in terms of having its own ensuite, but you've got a linen closet sitting right in between the two of them. I mean, that is nice. Instead of a Jack and Jill, you each get, you know, your own bathroom. This closet's outside of the bathroom, which is a little different. Ooh, that's some fun tile too. And then you've got a single vanity in here with a shower and tub combo. It's a little different. Where does this person go to the bathroom? That one didn't have one. But coming down the hall, this is where the second laundry room is. You've got space for a stackable washer and dryer right here. And this is separated by a pocket door. Now this is nice. So going through homes, I see pocket doors all the time. Everybody's doing pocket doors right now, but you can't ever grab them and pull them out. This one actually gives you enough space where you can pull out the pocket door and it's like not gonna bind up or anything. Just, it's the little things. And you've got another closet right here and then into the final bedroom. And all the bedrooms are nice sizes too. You've got its closet. Now this bedroom does share the bathroom with this uh, kind of finished bonus room, I guess. Upstairs den. So you got double vanity in here. Some more fun tile. It's almost like rubber, that's what it feels like. So you've got a toilet, another little linen closet, and then back into the shower. All right, into the bonus room. So you've got this set of French doors that open up into it. I guess we'll kind of start over here. A yeah, fun chrome looking fan. It's like an airplane propeller. But plenty of room up here. Just kind of a fun hangout spot. Probably do so many different things with this. You've got a, a little attic space. As if this home couldn't go any higher. And then you've got, uh, looks like a little wine chiller, drink chiller, a little prep sink. And then plenty of cabinets and drawers up here. Again, I always open up the one with things in it. And then all the way through the door, sitting up towards the front of the house, uh, they got like a little game room set up. I like the bench right here up underneath of the window. Just a fun little place. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you do want any information on this model or Raleigh Custom Homes, I'll leave that information for you over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, get price information. You can filter based off of number of bedrooms, stories, square footage, home design, type of home, all different types of stuff. So definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that 
in the description. Thank you so much for taking the time to tour this home with me today. I greatly appreciate it. I'm looking forward to our trip. Don't forget to put in some different home places that may be around you. And uh, until next time, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one. Just a little bonus, because I saw this, you do have a nice crawl space up underneath the house as well.